And now it's time to ice out our images with some diamonds. This is the same effect that's used on the rap and hip hop album covers. I actually developed this technique a little bit over a year ago because uh, ever since I started Photoshop Cafe I've had many inquiries for that particular technique and I looked around and all I saw was a few effects you know where people were using a little bit of noise and stuff and it just really wasn't a good tutorial out there on diamonds so I determined to sit down on the computer and not move until I developed a decent technique and that's what we're gonna do right now let's choose a text tool we'll click on the page and we'll add some text and since we're working on some diamonds here we're doing a little bit of bling bling we're gonna do the text we're gonna call it bling uh, before we can apply certain effects to this text, it has to be changed from a text layer to a regular layer. The way to do that is just move over the word, right click, and choose rasterize layer. Now it's just a regular layer. We want to load that selection. To do that, we just hold down the control key or the command on the Mac and click on the thumbnail and notice that the selection is made. Push the D key to reset the foreground background colors. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add some clouds in here. And this is going to be the foundation for our diamond effect. So we're going to go filter, render, clouds. All right, there's our clouds. Now we want to try and make these look like diamonds. And where do you think we'll find that? Well, it's actually under the glass filter. Filter, distort, glass. And notice we have a pretty big dialog box right now, so it's a little hard to see exactly what's going on all at once, because this is the new um, effects box the filter gallery in uh, Photoshop CS. All right, what we want to do is we want to drop the smoothness setting all the way to the bottom and notice how the effect is already beginning to take place. Let's increase the distortion. Let's pull that up to a much higher setting. We can experiment with the scaling a little bit. About there looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit bigger. There we go. And click OK. And look at that. We have a very realistic looking diamond effect. But no diamond is complete unless it's ringed with a little bit of gold. So let's put the gold around this letter to complete the effect. Choose a layer style. And what we're going to do is we're going to stroke these letters. For position, choose center. And we're going to increase the size. Maybe that was a little bit big. Let's have a look what we've got there. That's looking pretty good. Maybe let's take it up to 10. Nice. All right. What we need to do now is apply a bevel. And if you notice under the bevel, there's a style here. It's called stroke emboss. And that's what we're going to do. Let's increase the size. The depth, I mean, I'm sorry. Now let's move the size up there. That's exactly the size we want right there. Now, notice it's not really looking very metallic. What we do is choose the gloss contour, and we can change that to the double ring setting. And see that's looking a lot better. And click OK. Now we've got this red chrome kind of looking effect. What we need to do now is just change this to gold. And we can do that simply by creating a hue saturation adjustment layer. And then we just slide the hue over until we get a nice gold looking effect. Maybe increase the saturation a little bit. Let's experiment until we get that just where we want it. That's pretty close. And click OK. And there we go. We've got a wrapped diamond effect.